Hey guys, the witch is back. You might notice right off the bat that my scenery is different. We had a lot of like construction and renovation and remodeling happening. So a lot of my stuff was packed away in boxes and I didn't really get the chance to, you know, bust stuff out to film. Uh, but I'm back now. We're going to do a renovated room tour. These rooms aren't exactly complete, but we did redo like our den and our bedroom. But I thought I'd show you guys what the new spaces look like. I'm not entirely sure what like my regular filming location is gonna be moving forward, but we will figure it out because it is done. I am so happy that this part is over. Also, I have a bunch of new subscribers. I don't know where you guys came from. I wasn't posting anything. I'm so happy you're here. I'm going to post new actual witchcraft related things soon, but in the meantime, uh, here is my life, I guess. Let's just jump into it. We have these accent walls that are matte black and gloss black striped. So this other accent wall that we have, I decided to have it serve a dual purpose of being both kind of a vanity and a altar space. That might seem kind of weird, but it works for me. This isn't like my complete altar setup, but it's a start. I have a lot of amethyst. I am a amethyst hoarder and a selenite hoarder. So this room we decided to go with like a Beetlejuice stripe theme. As I was painting the stripes, and pulling them, I realized that um, it's also kind of Sephora, but you know, that's okay. So if you don't like dead things, <laughs> this section is not gonna be your favorite. Um, but yeah, all of these things are ethically sourced. Um, I'm, that's, I'm, that's like a big deal for me. These, super expensive. Um, these are teeth that were pulled out of Thor and Marilyn. Um, that surgery cost me like a fortune, but tiny dog teeth can like, get rotted and it can start rotting their skull. So if they, that starts happening, they have to pull them out. These are actually Thor's baby teeth that didn't come out, so he had like a shark tooth effect. So yeah, they cost me like an absolute fortune. So of course, I'm going to frame both of them and keep them forever because they cost me so much money. And that bell has a story behind it. Let me know if you guys want a ghost story because there she is. Because this is the ghost themed room, I have this little ghost stuffed animal and I have these, this ghost candle and these super cute uh, planchette coasters. And then we have one of my favorite things, which is this glow in the dark Ouija board. And then I just got this. So if you guys want me to test it out somewhere, uh, let me know because this is the ghost room and I felt like I needed to have it. It's called the ghost meter and it's an EMF detector. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I do have a lot more witchcraft supplies in this closet, but it's a mess. So maybe one day I will show it to you when it's more beautiful. And right now it's just like a clutter of jars and things. Um, so yeah, uh, this is why I have been gone for a couple of months. But now that we're at this stage where things are painted, we have furniture, and it's, my altar isn't in a box anymore, we can get back to witchcraft videos. I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it. I can't believe there are this many of you guys. 
maybe you will look back and be like, oh, Chrissy was so excited about her like 200 and some subscribers. I thought that I would be making these videos and like my mom would watch them. Hi mom. It really is like a huge deal to me. Thank you guys for watching, for caring. And I really do want to hear from everyone in the comments. What kind of videos do you guys want to see coming up? Is there any subjects? Is there any topics? Do you guys want me to do some stuff that isn't necessarily like witchcraft, like I was saying, like ghosty themed videos. I will see you guys next time. And I swear, I don't know when that next time is going to be, but it won't be like three months from now. So, all right, blessed be.